All right, everybody, quick update on the lawn here. Uh, weedzilla, weeds are dying pretty well. Uh, drying up's only been a few days since app, a couple rains since, um, but everything's getting pretty well smoked. I'm checking to see a little bit of the oxalis, looks like it held up just a tiny bit, so I might be respraying that, but uh, the irrigation's getting fixed over here. We're working on that, so that's gonna be pretty quick. Um, I'm actually gonna do a little bit of additional prep today and that is spray down an app of humic, an app of dethatch. And uh, I've also got some green pop with me, but I'm gonna go ahead and wait to do that. And uh, putting down an app of air raid as well. So I'm gonna go heavy on all of this and pretty much do a full 32 ounce uh, ortho on the whole lawn of each product and just nail it. And um, then that way we'll have the soil a little bit more conditioned before we get in here and do the topsoil treatment and everything else. So I'm gonna do that right now. Okay, so soil is on site. It is in the trailer out front. Uh, there are multiple equipment failures happening right now. Uh, number one, the battery is dead and the charger isn't working. So I will be shoveling everything out of there by hand. It's a good thing I don't mind hard work. Here's how this is gonna go. Um, I'm gonna bring it back. I'm gonna start filling in this area here. Let's see if we can get low enough. If you look across here, you can see we've got some undulation and, and sort of a dip. There's a bit of a low spot there and just back over here. So I wanna take care of this. It's only gonna take a few inches of soil to kind of level that out. Uh, so we're gonna do that and then I'm just gonna dust in the rest of it um, down into here. So I really am, I, I wanna leave all of this matter here, let it just sort of decay and fall down and um, get basically organic matter down into this soil. So uh, the material I got's okay, it's screened, it's all right. Um, fairly loose in area, I can tell that there's a bit, quite a bit of sand uh, content in it. So we'll just have to start the lawn off on its right foot and um, get this thing moving. So I'm gonna start with soil, then we'll talk about seed, then we'll throw some uh, green pop out there and uh, make sure that we're all covered and scratched in and that's gonna be how it goes. There you go. So front yard's gonna get a little bit of a dusting here of soil, not really a whole lot, just enough to kind of cover in. The weeds are dead or in various degrees of dying. Uh, so no more concern about that. Um, it almost looks like that little shot yesterday that I put out kind of made the old fescue do something. It's kind of interesting. So we're. We're gonna thread through all of it. Like I said, the homeowner here really is just looking for a green lawn, like a lawn lawn. And honestly, the only section of grass there is is right here, and the rest of it is just kind of toast. So we are using peat seed. Um, we did send that out here since we're in a dry climate. We're gonna be able to keep that fairly short, two and a half to three inches. So that, that's good, especially because it's hot down here. If you were to cruise around through the neighborhood and take a look at some of the other lawns, there's bluegrass down here, there's fine fescue, there's um, turf type tall fescue as well. There's kind of a, a couple of different blends and um, really keeping it longer is kind of the, the best play. So I'm gonna start shoveling.
Okay, so the low spot has been leveled. I know that from talking to the homeowner that was, well, clearly the whole thing was a problem, but that particular area was a problem. No grass wanted to grow there. So this soil in here is between two and three inches deep. Now, one thing you should know about topsoil is it's gonna settle down usually 40 to 50%. So whatever you stack in is gonna come down. That is because it has been turned and lifted and it's got a lot of air in it. Good topsoil has a lot of air. It's gonna pack down. So what I'm gonna do next, I'm actually gonna go ahead and uh, spread the seed through this because there is coverage in here. And then I'm gonna come back through and I'm gonna dust the whole thing with topsoil so that it covers up and gives it a little extra coverage because it's thin, right? But it's gonna work in. Like this area is definitely thin here. So I know that I'm gonna need to cover well, but for the most part, there is grass growing. So the next couple uh, of wheelbarrow loads are gonna go to just sort of sprinkle in over the top of the seed. So let's talk about the seed for a second and uh, the rate that we're gonna do and all of that kind of stuff. Okay, so I'm gonna be using Pete's Tall Fescue Blend. 50 pound sack, I am not using 50 pounds. Uh, per Pete's recommendation, five to seven pounds per thousand square feet is what's gonna go down. Now in this little whirly gig right here, and you can look that up on Wikipedia, I wrote it this morning, whirly gig means John's seed spreader. Um, I'm just gonna do a little hand spread. This thing really only holds like three pounds of seed. Uh, it doesn't really hold very much, so I'm gonna be going over it a few times. Um, but now if you remember, this lawn is only uh, 2,250 square feet, so I'm not really going to use much. I mean, we're going to take about this much out of the bag and um, spread that out. So here's how this is going to go. I'm going to spread the seed. Um, I am going to dust everything with topsoil, and then I am going to spray it with green pop. So here, here's all the tools that I'm using. Whirly gig, spray them a gig, and green pop, which I can't quite reach. It's away over here. Oh, there we go. Green pop. Now, if you haven't used this, if you're doing any seeding, this is a uh, liquid starter. And again, with all the stuff that we've done in the past with using humic and kelp and everything, you've got it in the jug. So I'm going to apply this at 15 ounces per thousand. So we're going to run out basically uh, one full ortho back here on the back. Now, there's a couple things that I want to talk to you about this as well. So I've got this topsoil. I don't know where this came from. I mean, I know where it came from because I got it, but I don't know where it came from before they got it. Uh, the one risk that you have, especially with a lot of development going on, is there could be a lot of weed seeds in here. I don't know yet. And uh, so after I come back from uh, this trip next week, uh, I'll be off the lawn for about 11 days, maybe 12 days before we see it again. So there should be some germination by then um, for sure. And um, I'm going to see what's going to happen with having to spray weeds. But typically you can't do that until about 21 days post-emergent. Um, so there'll be a little time for that, but I'm going to go ahead and knock out the seeding, um, continue a little bit of spreading. I still probably have a couple yards, uh, maybe left in there, yard and a half left in the dump trailer. And, um, that'll be enough for me to dust everything in. So time for that. Okay. <laughs> Okay, so that's sprayed out. I'm going ahead and kicking a sprinkler on, and uh, I'm gonna need to go to the store and buy a sprinkler for this house because 
That one doesn't move. It's okay. It's no big deal. Uh, but anyway, the wind's kicking around a little bit. I'm gonna let it just sort of run while I go finish off the front and seed it. And then uh, you know, move it around a little bit. I just wanna get the seed, uh, the soil around the seed moist and happy. So go to the front. Got back from the home depot. Had to go get a uh, new oscillating sprinkler. I have uh, some serious questions about the sprinkler repair that was done on the front yard. So I'm not gonna trust that that's gonna fire off yet. So um, I am gonna set this thing up and let it run. And that's pretty much all the work that's gonna be done here today. So. Okay, so let's overview. What do we do today? We spread a crap ton of soil, as you can see. And there is something I'm gonna point out here in a second. Uh, we did that, we sprayed down green pop, we spread the seed, and now we're watering it all in. Now, here's what I want to point out to everybody. So there's a big difference between soil seeding and what would be considered nature seeding and this is how i want to get everybody to kind of understand this when you're seeding through grassy areas that actually have some growth or some stand or or just coverage right you are treating that exactly as nature would okay so when grass grows in nature uh, it grows up through about half the season then it starts to dry out and as it dry out it starts to put seed heads on and the seed heads go up and as the grass dries up it dies the seeds fall down they go inside of their dead parent. Ew, that's a terrible thing to think about. Uh, underneath is a better way to... <sighs> you know what, I'm not even gonna edit that. And uh, the seed falls down, gets shaded. As rain comes, winter comes, everything else, the, the grass starts to decay down on top of the seed, the seed grows. Okay, so we're utilizing that technique anywhere where there is a stand of grass of some kind, dead or not, it's there. The rest of this was very thin and I've gone through and leveled it out and just sort of brought up soil in certain areas so that it can have a better chance of establishing. So, mm, that's nice. Um, that's it. We're not going to see this lawn now for about, well, let's see, today's the 18th. It's gonna be a while, 12, 13 days before we see it. So seed should be coming up within that time. Uh, we'll get a good look at it, see what things are like, and uh, go from there. So, bye. Mm-hmm. 